Hello, I'm Robin. Welcome to Bookspin. Today I'm going to do a book tag video. This is the Booktube anniversary tag. It's been just over a year since I started this channel, so I thought it'd be worth giving this tag a try. I'm afraid I don't know who the original creator of this tag was. Uh, I discovered this a while back on another channel. Uh, this was Matthew's channel. The man with a hat who reads and I will link his channel in the description box below. Uh, I do recommend you check out his channel. He has a very friendly and jovial manner which really brings his videos to life. So um, let's have a look. We've got 12 questions here. The first question is how many years on BookTube are you celebrating? So that would be one year in my case. I am a little bit late for this because the actual anniversary date is the 7th of August. So at the time of filming that's more like one year and two weeks. But uh, anyway, during that time I have uploaded 50 videos. So this will be the 51st and I've picked up just over a thousand subscribers which is great that's very unexpected uh, i never thought that many people would want to watch my videos so thank you to everyone who subscribed and i hope you can continue to enjoy my content question two how have you changed from your first video to now i would say that i've become more confident on a personal level i've become more confident and also more focused with the videos that I'm making. Uh, I also think that the videos themselves are becoming longer on average. Um, I've become more sort of comfortable making longer form content. So for example, instead of the short review videos, which I used to do, now I'm doing more uh, the, the book review trios, which I enjoy doing. It's just, uh, I feel more comfortable making these slightly longer videos. Question three. What are three of your favorite videos you've made in the past year and why? Uh, so I'm gonna say probably my, my favorite one that I enjoyed working on the most would be the Hidden Gems of Sci-Fi video. That's the one where I collaborated with uh, other YouTubers and uh, writers. It was really good fun uh, speaking to people, hearing their recommendations, uh, editing it, putting everything together. So I really enjoyed that video. Uh, and that's probably my favorite, I'd say. And uh, the second one I would say is maybe the immortality video. I think it was a really interesting topic and I enjoyed doing the background reading so that was fun to make um, and one more maybe the top 15 books video I think that was a good showcase for my reading tastes uh, and I put a lot more effort into editing that one than, than usual and that one is uh, by far the most viewed video on my channel. Um, oh, question four, what is your most popular video? As I just said, uh, the top 15 wonderful science fiction books by a considerable margin. I'll just see. Oh, I don't have it to hand with me. I think it's about 35,000 views for that one. Uh, not quite sure why that one is so popular compared to the others but that's how it is uh question five what have you struggled with on booktube in the past year and how did you overcome that struggle slash what's the hardest thing about creating videos for youtube um i think for me finding the time to read everything that I want to read is the biggest challenge. 
So I, I have a, a TBR that is ever growing uh, to the point where I just can't keep up with it. Um, I can only devote so much time in a day or in a week to reading and then making videos on top of that. So like a lot of people, I've got a busy life, I've got a full-time job, I've got family responsibilities. There's only so much time I can spend on books. Um, so, but I try not to let that stress me out. I, I also, I'm not a really fast reader either. I try to get through uh, a book a week if I can, but I can't always maintain that goal. So I just read the books, enjoy them, read them at my own pace, and I've always got some books to talk about so I can carry on making videos. And I think it's not worth stressing over. Just need to focus on quality rather than quantity when making my reading decisions, I think. Question six. Have you had to deal with negative feedback uh, or comments. How did you handle it? Um, I would say no. Uh, uh, well, not much. The vast majority of my comments are positive uh, and I really appreciate all of the feedback I get from commenters. Uh, I, I love to hear from people, so thank you to everyone who leaves comments. I do occasionally get critical comments where someone will disagree with something I've said or a book which I've talked about. Um, but I don't mind that if, if, if it's polite and respectful, uh, it's okay to disagree, get a disagreement, uh, get a debate flowing in the comments. Um, very seldom I might get a comment which is more objectionable uh, i.e. that it appears to be attacking me personally or someone else, i.e. obvious trolling. If I get a comment like that, I will delete it, but that very rarely happens. So the, most of the comments are friendly and engaging, and sometimes they're really touching, actually. Uh, it makes me very happy when uh, to see that people out there who genuinely enjoy my videos... Um, but while we're on this topic of comments, there is one particular comment, one particularly memorable comment that comes to mind. Uh, I got this comment a while ago, but I always thought when I saw it, I've got to share this at some point. It's not a negative comment. It is a very funny comment. This was on my video that I made way back on Utopian Books. And I've got the comment here in front of me. It's from Classic Science Fiction and Horror. And they said, You should review dystopian novels. My favourite is the Holy Bible, which looks to be a horrible place to live with an angry and incompetent God ruling the populace. So, thanks for that one. That one did make me chuckle. Uh, and I think... <laughs> That would actually be quite an interesting project, I think, to try and review the Bible as a dystopian novel. But uh, it might be a bit controversial for some. Uh, so that's a bit of a tangent, really, but I, I just wanted to mention that. Um, let's move on to question seven. Shout out a huge supporter of your channel. That is difficult to say, but I... Uh, like I said, I, I do appreciate anyone who comments on my videos, especially if you comment quite regularly and you know who you are. Eight. What's the best book you've read in this past year? That's very hard to say. There are a lot that I could choose from. Uh, if I'm going to narrow it down to just one book, I mean, I could probably narrow it down to five or six books, but if it's just one book, as this question demands, I'm going to say... The Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury, which is an absolute classic, beautifully written, a wonderful uh, classic science fiction fix-up novel from the 1950s. I've got a review up on the channel if that interests you and you want to find out more. 
Question nine, where do you see your channel in a year's time and what do you hope to achieve? I don't have any particular end goal for this channel. I'm just gonna keep on making videos, keep sharing my love of science fiction and see how it goes. Uh, 10, what was an unexpected surprise of being on YouTube? I think for me, that would be the free books that I've received. Uh, so I've had two books sent to me now from publishers uh, for review. Uh, and I've reviewed both of them on my channel. Uh, I've also got a couple of books on the way. Um, so, and these, for the most part, came out of the blue. They're just people... Uh, Publishers or authors who reached out to me and, and asked if I would like to receive their book and um, that's very kind of them. So I, I do appreciate that. Question 11. Thoughts on equipment. What has been the most useful piece of equipment you've bought? Last year I invested in a Microsoft Surface Pro 8 and this is the, the device that I use for filming all of my videos and editing all of my videos so it is indispensable for my channel apart from that i have this microphone here and that's all i need really 12. what advice would you give to someone thinking of starting youtube i would say if, if this is something you're thinking of doing just do it uh, in the case of booktube if you enjoy discussing books if you want to share your passion with an online community then booktube is a really great outlook for this i think it's very rewarding as a hobby and i think part of the reason for that is it's a creative endeavor you're not just simply being a reader anymore you're not just simply reading books and consuming them. You're actually um, creating something that other people will enjoy watching and interacting with. And it gives you a chance to take stock and reflect on what you've read and share your thoughts with a wider community. And I think that's great. I think that's a very rewarding process. So... If that's something that interests you, uh, don't be afraid. Give it a shot and make a booktube video. Make a channel. See how it goes. Last question. 13. Tag someone whose anniversary is coming up. So I had a little think about this. Uh, and I think I'm going to tag Joanna from XOJO. I remember... Not that long after I started up my channel, I think it was maybe two or three months in, uh, in I discovered her channel uh, and she had just started it up. So I was one of her earlier subscribers. So yeah, if, if she wants to, she can do this tag uh, when her anniversary comes. Or if there are any other booktubers out there and you're watching this and you have an anniversary coming up, feel free to do the tag. And that's it. Those are all the questions. Thank you for watching. I will see you again soon.